Hey everyone, this is Nick Basie from FilmSnobbery.com. I'm here at the First Class Film Festival at Raleigh Studios here in Hollywood. And who am I here with? I'm here with a bunch of good-looking people. So who's so starting here? Hi, I'm Rob Matthews. I'm the writer and director of Retribution. And we have our producer, Lane Andrews, uh, one of our actors, Adam and Matt, our other actor. Fantastic. Uh, so, all right, you're a director. You're what's the movie, what's the movie about? You got to tell everyone. They're not here. Uh, well, it's a thriller with a sort of comedic, dark undertone uh, about a detective who goes on a mission to get his revenge after he and his fiancée are mugged in a, a parking lot one night. I can't stop looking at it. It's so pretty. God, you like it. <laughs> Can you have the keys? That pocket thing. Whoa. Don't look at me. Turn around. If you if you make a sound, I'll cut his throat. Very Batman. A little bit. Well, not really. Um, it has a sort of dark undertone, but it, it's kind of this detective walking a fine line between going too far to get his just revenge and not going far enough. Now, you're the producer, or a producer, such an innocuous word, what do you do? Well, I actually don't normally produce films, I'm actually his girlfriend, but when he took this on, <laughs> um, he needed some extra help, so I did a lot of various things, from casting to wardrobe to um, getting the porta potty for the set, <laughs> the food, everything, I kind of did a lot of bits and pieces, oh, I also did like set design and stuff, so I was kind of wore a lot of hats. <laughs> Fantastic. Also, you're so girlfriend, boyfriend. That's always an interesting kind of thing. I now have no more questions for you because uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but um, so, let's talk to these guys now. So, tell me a little bit about what you guys did in, in terms of the roles and what, who you are, what you do. Definitely. Uh, yeah, Adam Epstein, and I play Jason Crowley, who is actually a common thief. I try to mug a, a lovely couple who just got engaged. And um, I'm looking for some cash, yeah. I got my knife and I'm looking to, uh, you know, tear some stuff up. Homeboy's looking for the big score. And, you know, is there such a thing? Is it the common thief? Is it really? I mean, everyone said, ah, he's a common thief. What's an uncommon thief then, you know? Yeah, well, I think an uncommon thief is, you know, someone who, maybe somebody who wants to serial kill or something like that. This was just a smash and grab job. So, yeah, it's all about the money. It's not about the, it's not about hurting the people. The new engagement ring is the big stuff. It's nothing personal, sir, right? No, nothing personal. <laughs> How about yourself? Uh, Matt Polkamp. I play Detective Warner, and um, it was a great time. You know, great cast and crew, and um, it was just fun to go out there in the middle of the night and play pretend. So it's great. How long did it take you to shoot? Uh, we shot it in two days, exactly. Two days. Just two days, yeah. And it's about ten minutes long, so we figured that was... It was kind of a rush for the shoot, but we did okay. Long days, yeah. Where did the inspiration for this particular subject material come from? You watch in the news one day, see someone get, you know, burglared or something like that, or robbed, and it was just like, that'd make a great short, or a great feature, or a great really, film. It really came off uh, a kind of joke that was going around online about a guy who goes out and does kind of extreme things to get revenge on someone who mugs him. So I kind of took that as a starting point and then fleshed it out over kind of it took a couple of years of just sort of dwelling on it to sort of for the film to come into fruition, but that, that's really it. As someone who you said you're not normally a producer, does this make you want to produce more? Um, no, no, I don't know. I think it made me want to produce less. No? <laughs> I, um, yeah, I love watching him direct and being there for him, but it's not my thing. But it was really fun. Just a lot of work. <laughs> Being that it only shot in over a couple of days, did you guys were you guys under pressure a lot to kind of get everything and you know kind of make the movie, so to speak? Well, especially the night shoots. Uh, we were talking about it earlier. I think it was the longest day of the year, so we didn't have that much darkness. So yeah, I mean you do have to get it in, of course. So uh, yeah, for, for sure. Yeah, the sun started coming up, and so we had to rush to shoot some last shots. Yeah. So he had to do in there post. Were, there were definitely a couple of shots that we didn't manage to get, um, which we kind of fixed in post but uh yeah the, the old fix started, it in post the fix it in post the sun started coming up we ran out of time and that was that we had to make do basically but were you feeling the pressure too uh no i mean I, I thought it all went really smooth i mean everybody did their job right and uh, i thought it went great uh, i didn't feel any pressure at all it was, it was a great environment to be in. Let's go to the show. 
Fantastic. Well, we're happy to have you guys here at the First Glance Film Festival. You're on the right carpet. You've got an award. What more could you ask for, right? Nothing. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you for having us. Well, hopefully we see you either at a future festival or we'll see you around the festival circuit. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.